Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Christian Ray. Finally, my channel na ako. I'm planning for this one to happen for quite a while now and yeah, finally I'm here. I am just so excited. And sorry guys if I'm all over the place kasi sobrang saya ako talaga to start this project or to, to start this channel. And yeah, so we're here. This is going to be my first vlog. It's our channel is going to be all about makeup tutorial, techniques, products, and you know everything that I have learned all throughout these um, years of um, applying makeup. And I am just so excited to share it with you guys, and hopefully, may ma may matututunan kayo from me. So for today's video, guys, we are going to make a glamour look. So it's more on bronzy, um, gold. We're going to play around with brown colors. Um, neutral colors. By the way, guys, this video is sobrang haba, so I have decided to cut it into two parts. So I have part one, which is the base, the face, the foundation, and then we will have part two of this video, um, which is going to be the eyes, the lips, and finishing. So please do stay tuned para makita niyo how I transform myself from this to this. Now guys, let's prep our skin. So before we start with the makeup, before applying all those makeups, uh, makeup products, we are going to start by uh, pre prepping our skin, by priming our skin. I have this Mute Beauty Mist from Aunt Lutz. This is um, in collaboration with Lux Organic. So naglabas si Aunt Lutz. And the good thing about this one is this is um, um, a setting spray. And also, this will also help to prep your skin before you start with makeup. And sobrang bangon ito guys. I think nasa one, uh, 379 pesos to. So sobrang bangon na to. And maganda yung spray niya. Ayan. Oh my goodness. Sobrang bangon niya. <sighs> sobrang bangon talaga guys. Parang parang skincare yung amoy niya. Yun yung signal. Yun yung amoy nito. Parang skincare products. So, antay na natin siya mag-set sa face natin. Guys, this is really important. If we're applying all these products sa face mo, you need to use the primer. This will help for your products or your makeup mo mag last all day. And for today, we are going to use this MAC Ledge uh, primer. It's Dramatic Skin Sensor Base UV. May SPF 25 siya. So, important ito sa primer na may SPF. Yun na naman guys, nakakasira ng skin yung araw, yung UV rays. So this one has SPF 25 and it depends on you guys. Ang daming primer in the market, merong pang oily skin, merong pang um, dry skin. So this one is perfect for my skin. So when it comes to primer, kapag nag-apply ako, I use my fingers. Ayan. Because the warmth of your skin more, ng fingers more, will help the product to melt into your skin, para ma absorb talaga siya. So that's what I do. So ilalagay ko lang siya sa tizen areas ko. Now this one, guys, we are going to color correct today. It's because hindi naman ako puro babae, and I have this five o'clock shadows here. Now color correcting. Hindi naman siya kailangan talaga for everyone. It's not applicable kung wala naman kayo i-cover sa face nyo. Like for example, yun yung mga blemishes or yung mga under eye na dark circles. Tapos, um, ganito nga, 5 o'clock shadows. And these things kasi are these um, dark colors here. Minsan hindi siya nakakover na foundation. Hindi siya nakakover na concealer. If you notice guys, kapag mayroon kayo mga dark shadows here, kung puyat kayo or you know, it's natural so yun yun na uh, mayroon talagang dark under eye. Tapos hindi siya nakocorrect ng, uh, or hindi siya nakocover ng foundation. This color correcting way, or it, yung technique ng color correcting will help you guys to eliminate that color. Or at least ma-diminish siya ng konti. So today, uh, so for my 5 o'clock shadows, itong sa beard areas ko, we are going to use an orange color. Kasi itong orange, ito yung magka-cancel ng mga dark colors. Yung mga dark, deep colors. So, tatawag siyang color correcting kasi nga, parang in-neutralize yung color ng 
na hindi even sa skin tone mo. Alright. So, we're going to use this one. Konti lang. So, kung wala naman kayong ano, kung hindi na wala naman kayong dark circles, wala ka naman kayo dito, ito, wala naman kayong co uh, skin color na gusto nyo i-correct, then, hindi nyo kailangan to. But, but ako, since hindi naman tayo purong babae, I have this one here. Medyo distracting siya. So, Iko color correct natin. Iko push natin product using our finger again. Don't need to put too much, kasi kapag madami ka naman nilalagay, magiging orange na yung face mo. So kante lang. Sayang ang pera ko, pambili ng lobo, pagkain sa na nabusog pa ako. Na kapag nilagay na yon. Now na meron na tayong color correcting product. Um, isa-set ko lang sa using powder, loose powder. Para hindi siya mag-move. Kasi if you're going to put foundation na agad dito, yung foundation mag-blend in dito sa orange. So magkakaroon ng orange undertone yung foundation mo. So for you to um, uh, to avoid of that happening, isa-set natin siya with powder. So this is my favorite powder, guys. Ah, no, one of my favorites. My favorite is the powder ng... Uh, Michido. Yung setting powder ng Michido. Sobrang ganda, sobrang fine. Tapos, oh my god, sobrang mura. So this one guys is an air spawn. Ito ay air spawn. Air spawn. Air spawn. Air spawn. <laughs> guys, air spawn to na loose powder. So maganda to. Actually, most of the um, drag queens, kita yung gamit nila. Ayan, air spawn. By the way guys, I'm going to link na lang down below or ilagay ko lang sa description box yung mga products na ginamit natin today para makita nyo and you can search it online. As for foundation, we are going to use this um, infallible, infallible 24 Fresh Wear from L'Oreal. Actually, hindi ko pa ito siya nagagamit. Kaka-receive ko lang ito from Lazada today. So, I ordered this one kasi sobrang... Pero matagal na ito eh. I think this is two-year-old na, na product. Yeah, I think two years old na ito na product. And... Yeah, may SPF din siya, guys, by the way. SPF 25, so maganda talaga siya sa skin. Lagi kasi ako nanonood ng YouTube, especially for beauty tutorials. So, itong... L'Oreal Fresh Wear, laging lumalabas din sa mga for the, um, what do you call this one? For the products na drugstore products na gusto nila. So, yun, bumili din ako kasi I haven't tried this one. I'm more onto Maybelline and Sawi. I have like high-end products. So, maganda guys kapag may pump yung product. So, I am in the shade, ano pa lang shade ko? 120 Vanilla. For foundation, what I like to do, is ilagay mo yung foundation sa back ng hand ko. And then, dito ko ipapump muna para mamamanage ko yung amount ng foundation na ilalagay ko sa face. And to apply it, I use foundation brush. I mean, you can use a sponge as well, but for me, I like using foundation brush because um, yung, yung product hindi inabsorb ng foundation brush or not too much product will be absorbed by the foundation brush. Talagang nilalagay mo siya sa skin. Unlike yung sponge, yung sponge kasi nag-absorb siya ng product. But there are some na mas gusto na sponge, mas gusto na finish nun. Pero, yeah. Me, I prefer using the um, foundation brush para na ma-maximize ko yung product. And they will not go to waste. So, you shake mo lang yung foundation mo. Apply this one. Magsisimula ako sa cheekbones. Then, I'll spread it out sa... <clears throat> going down this um, jawline area at saka sa face area. Very runny yung consistency nito. Ang sabi dito, full coverage daw to, but very runny siya, so I don't think mag-full coverage to. Kasi if you're looking for a foundation na uh, full coverage, dapat ang piliin yung thick foundation. Tapos kapag mas runny yung foundation, mas um, light yung coverage niya. So, lagay ko lang siya dyan, guys. And then, spread ko siya. Mmm, may amoy yung product. May, yung, may, di naman siya ganun kapag yung amoy. Pero may amoy siyang, mmm, yung amoy ng makeup. May strong smell siya. Not that strong pala. Pero may amoy talaga siya. It's, 
Hmm. Ah, may pa siya. So, i-buff mo lang siya, guys. I-buff niyo lang yung product. Sa skin. Para siya mag-melt into the skin. Otherwise, by the way guys, hindi pala ako professional makeup artist. So, disclaimer lang. So, yun yung finish of skin ko. Medyo mattifying yung product. Yeah, medyo nagmamattify siya sa skin. And it's nice actually kasi oily skin ako. So, mas maganda sa akin yung mattifying product. Mattifying pa to. It says here. Wala naman nakalagay. Me kasi personally, ayoko ng madaming masyadong foundation sa mukha. Ayoko ng sobrang, I apply less lang or just an ample amount. But if you want a more coverage ng foundation, you, you can layer it to two up to three. But please expect it lang na all throughout the day, pwede siya mag-cake up. So, less product, mas better. But it's up to you guys if you want to have more coverage. So, yun. And then also, don't forget to apply sa ears nyo, yung makeup. And then also, drag it down sa neck nyo. Para mag-mirror yung color. Kasi hindi naman pwede yung mukha nyo. Ito yung kulay. Tapos yung neck nyo. Ito yung color. Mukha ka yung giraffe. <laughs> giraffe ba? Tsaka pa magkakaiba ng color. Yung may spots. Yung mukha ka yung iba-ibang color. Ayan. So, the... Ayan. Now guys, I'm happy na with my foundation. Ayoko na magdadagdag. Kasi um, we're going to use concealer pa naman at ibang products mamaya. So mayroon pa rin yung mga coverage. So as of now, happy na ako dito. And um, the next thing that we're going to do na lang is a technique that I do. And it is to use a sponge. So this is a technique that I do, guys. Every time I um I I put on um products of face ko, kasi feeling mo kasi mayro mga excess products of face mo hindi naman maiwasan naman lagi din excess products. So what you need to do is to grab your a uh, damp damp na sponge, and then you tap it on your face. Sa product, and this will help to absorb those products na excess na nasa mo kamo excess products na yun. And also, it will help to push para yung products sa skin. Okay, now that we're done with our foundation, let's proceed to our contour. Now for contouring guys, you have the cream contour, you have powder contour. But ako, myself, I like to do cream contour. Because this will help to give dimensions sa face mo. And then hindi siya mo hang, slap lang yung color sa mukha mo na contour. So, ayun, this will help na maging mabuhay. Kasi diba right now, flat yung face natin using the foundation. Sabang flat ng color, parang white canvas na. Now, it's the time for us to contour or to bronze, bronze our skin para maging mabuhay ulit at magkakaroon din. Let's apply muna yung lip balm natin. Nakalimutan sa simula, dapat in-apply natin yung lip balm. Guys, iset nyo rin yung, or i-prep nyo rin yung lips nyo by using lip balm before you're going to start or kanamang product that you have before you start doing your makeup. So for contouring, I have this palette from Profusion. Actually, this is a complete fat. It's a complete <laughs> It's a complete fat. <laughs> Again, it's a complete palette. So I have here the um, contour cream, I have bronze cream, and then also have um, this uh, blush cream. So, yun, completo to. It's from a friend, the guy, yeah, or hiningi ko. <laughs> Wala siyang choice. 
<laughs> so I'm going to use this one. Um, I'm not sure if this is available locally, but you can go to Shopee, to Lazada, and you know, check on Instagram. And having makeup stores on Instagram, and there's they're selling or mga reseller, resellers uh, Instagram na you know, yung mga products na hindi available sa atin sa Pinas or hindi available sa market sa Pinas. Uh, in applying the bronzing cream, I love to use a foundation brush. The good thing with this is, pwede mo siya indirecto ng blend sa skin mo. Hindi mo na kailangan maglagay pa ng mga lines na iba buff mo later on to blend on, to blend out. So I'll uh, use this one a lot. So direct yung blanchang e dip, and then after for bronzing guys, magsimula tayo dito sa high points or dito sa points ng cheekbones natin. Ito, ay uh, yung hollow points ng cheekbones natin para magkaroon tayo ng shape. So yeah. Yan, sa hollow points pala, hindi sa high points. And this this is this will warm up your skin and bring out the colors. So blend din lang siya. Tapos iangat niyo rin dito sa temple. So blend you lang siya guys. The key to everything that we're going to do or makeup application is to blend. Kasi kung mas blended yung makeup nyo, it will look um, seamless, it will look um, pretty, finished. Then we're going to apply this one also sa, um, sa jawline natin. Para ma-pronounce yung, magiging prominent yung jawline natin. Yan siya ang contest and then, tapos abutin niyo talaga to guys, yung back ng ears niyo. Yan. Para diretsyo yung contour. So I'm happy na with the contour sa around the area ng face ko. So, around the outer area of face ko, including my um, jawline, I'm going to do my nose naman for contouring. <clears throat> so, I'm going to use the same product. So, the key to contouring your nose, guys, dapat mag-meet. Mag-start ka dito. Itong sa tip ng... sa tip ng eyebrows mo, then going down to your nose. So... Lagay natin sila dyan. Very lighty lang. Dapat light-handed lang tayo. Tapos yung sa ilalim ng nose mo, lagay mo din. Para i-shadow nyo yung kan para yung nose mo pang nakaangat siya kapag may shadow ka dito. So parang pointed siya pataas. Then I'm going to use my blender, my beauty blender, to blend it. Okay, now that we're done with our cream contour, we are going to um, to use naman or to apply our um, concealer. So, kung dinor ka mo yung areas dito, guys, outside your your face or sa corner ng your face mo, you want to to highlight. Oh yeah, <laughs> sinino ka ho? You want to highlight naman yung um gitna ng face mo. So we're going to highlight your under area. Kasi tiyong matatama ka ng ilaw eh. Dito, tapos itong area na dito sa so nose. So for concealer, we are going to use the Candid uh, from Revlon. This is from Revlon. I like this concealer because it's so thick, na, uh, thick yung consistency and maganda yung um, coverage niya. Because uh, this will help to eliminate your um, eliminate. This will help to eliminate yung mga darkness niyo sa under eye area. 
So, lagay ko lang siya. Guys, for this candid, I know maganda to, but please do um, use it. Um, huwag niyong tagalan yung pagbababa dito sa face niyo kasi mabilis siya mag-dry. So, what I do normally for this product, I apply it section by section. So, if I apply it first, sa under eye area, under eye area ibe-blend ko na siya agad. So, you don't need to put that much na concealer kasi magkikake up siya kapag madami yung nilagay mo. So, kaya i-avoid niyo yung paglagay ng sobrang daming products, guys. So, I'm happy now with this um, amount. Earlier, yung brush or your brush will help to blend your products but will not absorb it um, compared to the... Um, compared to the... compared using a sponge. So, for setting this or for blending out this concealer as well, I'm going to use um, a brush. So, yung payoff or yung product is nasa skin mo lang talaga then all you need to do is to blend it out dahan-dahan lang, very lightly so i-blend ko siya pababa tapos ito i-blend ko pataas if you want to have that snatch na look i-blend mo siya pataas para yung face mo parang sculpted siya going up So this area, I blend ko lang, I press ko lang sila very lightly. Now, if you notice, na sculpt niyong face ko para na siyang na snatch pataas. Okay, now that I have blended it out na, yung mga products na lagi ko first, I am going to apply naman yung the rest. Sa face ko, dito, sa nose, para nakakontour yung nose natin. Parang, ano ba to? Exclamation point? Tama ba? Yeah, parang exclamation, exclamation point. Yeah, parang exclamation point lang. And then here also, on this area also, para nakakontour yung face mo. Yeah. Light lang, konti. This here. And then also sa forehead. Then we'll blend it out again. Okay, now that we have blended out na everything seamless, uh, seamlessly, um, we are now going again to use our sponge para i-dab ulit yung uh, face natin and to remove the excess products. Dab mo lang siya ulit. So this technique tala guys, and do, uh, by doing each and every time you're going to uh, apply makeup and then dabbing the excess product will really help, no? To have a um, smoother finish, a clean finish ng face mo. So, i mo lang. Press mo lang yung product. Okay. Now, I'm happy na with it. Since all the products that we have applied first are liquid or cream products, we are going to set them naman with um, a powder product. 
to set the cream products, um, yung powder products na gagamitin natin, I mean, iseset sila para mag, uh, mag last sila all day. So for concealer, we're going to set it with our airspun pa din, na loose powder. So, kuha ka lang ng konti. Wala yung product using the sponge. Ganyan. Press mo lang sila. Kita ba? Ah, yung excess, tap mo lang sa back ng hand mo. And then, siset na natin yung ating under air concealer. So, make sure guys, before nyo siset na yata ng product, nakapush, walang mga crease. Kasi once na set mo yun, yun na yun, hindi na gagalo ang product. So, lagay mo lang siya, set mo lang siya, and then. So, this um, product or itong loose powder will set all the uh, concealer, yung areas na lagay natin ng concealer. So, yun. Press lang siya, lightly lang. Tapos pwede nyo na rin yung align yung cheekbones nyo. Okay, now that we are done with setting our concealer, leave lang natin sila for around 20 or 30 seconds up to 1 minute. And then we are going to set naman our cream foundation. So earlier we had um, cream found uh, cream sorry cream bronze. So we have cream bronze in apply kanina. So in order to set that one, we are going to use naman a powder uh, powder bronzer. So I have um, a Tavian uh, uh, bronzing product here. It's uh, uh, this is by oh my God, <laughs> Kay Albert Kunyawan. And then this is around um, 999 pesos, 995 pesos, almost 1,000 pesos. So, mayroon siyang shimmer dito for bronzing, and then mayroon siyang for contour yung nasa mas mataas, mas deeper color. Um, may glitter lang to guys. I mean, may shine siya yung bronzing product nila. So kapag mayroon kang texture sa face, yung shimmers kasi or yung shine mag mag um, mag -e emphasize ng texture so ako may texture ako somewhere here but then we're going to use naman the bronzing powder up to this area lang na nilagyan natin ng bronzing cream so i'm avoiding these areas talaga na maglagyan ng cream or ng shep ng sheen kasi ito yung mga areas ko na maraming um, texture so ayoko siya ma-emphasize so kuha lang talaga very light konti konti lang talaga Tap natin excess. Tapos, lagay natin. So, since bronze makeup naman kasi bronze look yung gagawin natin ngayon, I'm going to use na lang itong machine. Ah, may shine. Saan mo nilagay yung cream? Ano ba yun? So, saan mo inilagay yung cream um, bronzer mo kanina, ito mo rin lang ilagay yung bronzing product. Very content lang kasi very pigmented. Pigmented to. Maganda tong bronzer ni, ano, ni Albert Corneawan. Ano yung Tevian? So, nagyan mo lang sila. So, this will help to set yung bronzing cream na ginamit mo kanina and it will add more um, color pa sa face mo. Very light lang guys. Alam mo yung makeup in applying it dapat light handed lang. Parang parang bina brush mo lang siya, pero walang ano, walang force. Hindi mo siya pinu push, bina brush mo lang sa skin. Just contour na yung leg natin para ganda. Konti lang talaga. yung 
powder na ginamit natin for, to set our concealer. Kunha ka lang ng clean brush or powder brush para tanggalin mo yung excess powder. Don't worry kung powdery pa siya kasi we're going to use naman a setting spray mamaya para i-melt everything sa skin mo. I want to add more dimension sa, jo sa cheekbones ko and sa jawline. So I'm going to use this darker product here, yung pang contour, that's what they call contouring. So, dab na, very konti lang din. Tapos, tap mo lang yung excess. Tapos, focus lang natin siya dito, to sa mga hollows ng cheekbones. Alright, mas define pa yung cheekbones mo. Okay. Tapos, lagay din natin sa jawline. Ayan. So, if you notice, sobrang prominent na yung jawline natin. Yung shape ng mukha natin pa ganun na. <laughs> Maganda yung shape ng mukha natin. Ano ang sinasabi na? Hugis bigas? Yeah, hugis bigas na yung mukha natin. So, lagyan natin sa kabila also. Tapos lagyan na yun sa hairline. Close to our hairline natin. Ito sa area. So, once you have contoured your face na, and then same technique, kunin mo yung sponge mo, and then i-double it yung face mo to remove the excess products. the size of face. So we are moving now to our eyebrows, eyes, and lips and to finish everything up. But uh, that will be on our second video. So on part two of this video tutorial. So I hope that you're going to click that one also after this. So see you there.